All right. Uh, today we're going to talk about uh, about connecting the fretboard with uh, a one chord, and namely, uh, you know, like a like a C major seven. We might be looking at a C major nine too as as well, but essentially a one chord. And we're going to connect the entire fretboard with that with that one chord. But before we do that, we should have a template of uh, uh, some uh, a scale template because we I, I always want to stick to this idea that chords come from scales. So the scale template would would you know you, you just a matter of playing. scale in first position and uh, C major scale in second position C major scale in fifth position and C major scale in seventh position and C major scale in ninth Right, and then we would have the repeat up here. So now, with uh, with each of those of those uh, scales, uh, we're going to have a corresponding chord. Right, uh, that that's where we get this this caged idea from. Right, uh, and there's so much of confusion about that. On it, it's it's not a system of playing. It's not a I solo with the cage system, or the cage system taught me how to play guitar. I don't know what what you know what that's all about. Uh, it it the the guitar breaks itself down into five different regions, right? Uh, so here's a C chord, here's an A chord shape, but if I play it as a C chord, it's here, right? And here's a G chord shape. If I play it as a C chord, it's here. A E chord shape. If I play it as a C chord, it's here. And here's a D chord shape. If I play it as a C chord, it's here. So there, that's that's caged. That's all there is to it, right? And and so underneath each one of those chords, uh, there, there's a related scale. I I already went through the scales. So you know, you don't uh, don't have any holes in your understanding. Like if you if you don't know five positions of the scales that eventually uh, go, go to the octave, then you've got holes somewhere there that you have to fill, right? You have to, you know, you can't, you can't have know this scale and maybe this scale, but you don't see them how they all connect laterally. That's what the, connect, uh, the cage system is about. So, but back to this lesson, which is C major seven chord. There's, there's a C major seven chord in open position. And here's a C major seven chord in the next position, third position. Same notes, just a different arrangement. And here's my open position. And here's my next position. And then the next one is fifth position. So here's a little C major triad with a major seven on top. And then C major seven, C major seven. Then working our way up the fretboard now in eighth position, here's a scale. There's my C major seven. And I can also, here's my root, major seven, three, and five. I can also play it in more of a piano voicing right in this area, one, three, five, seven. So now I have those, those C major seven chords, okay. And then uh, now we're up in tenth position, the scale underneath. And there 
there's my C major seven, C major seven, C major seven, C major seven. something generally that you should be thinking like you know you're, you're filling up the fretboard okay now let, let's add a, a, a few more one chord possibilities to fill things up a little bit how about uh, rather than this major seven how about we do a major nine isn't that pretty right it's still a one chord right <clears throat> thinking, you know, one chord. Uh, so we have the major seven. And how about a six? Right, there's a nice six, one, three, six root. So we have major seven. Six chord. And uh, let's add the 6-9 as well. Right. And so that's, that's the 3, the 9, the 5, and the... Uh, uh, 3, the 9. Uh, let's see. The 3, the 6. I'm sorry. The 9 and the 5. And then... Well, we can add another 6 here. So, so far we've got this. Those are all uh, C's, right? C major sounds. Okay, and then here's another six nine up here. Uh, the one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, five, and root on top. Same as I had down here. And then here. How about a major, uh, major seven uh, with a nine on top, major nine? That's pretty here. Let me check it out. Six. Okay, so I'm just going to go through those slowly, and these are really important. You should learn them in all in all keys. Uh, sure, there's others to play. You know, there's other. We we could we could go on and on, but these are really super practical. And you can hear how I'm trying to connect a scale to them, right? Major seven. Major six. Major nine. Major seven. Keep the scales in mind, right? And the four. I'm not, I'm not going to use a chord for the full for the fourth degree of the scale and then and then to the six the six nine and then to the six chord major seven six nine and then uh, major Oh no, and then a major seven with a nine on top, major nine, and then we, off. we have that one too, and then uh, the uh, six nine. Oh, 
voice. And then exercise. Right. Or... Just connecting the whole fretboard. So that's connecting the fretboard in one chords, only in the key of C right now, but challenge yourself, take it to the key of D, take it to the key of E flat, right? Uh, and uh, the further you get, uh, you know, I probably I'll probably do a video that'll that'll just do the key of G, for instance, um, and uh, then you can extrapolate that to A and B flat and and so on. Okay. Um, great. Uh, if that was a help to you, uh, the, these are super important. Um, you know, I didn't make these chords up, um, but but uh, you know, ch check out check out some players. Check out Joe Pass. You know, I, it, it seems that his fingers are hardly moving most of the time. I mean, he's moving around a lot, but but uh, but uh, the chords that he is playing are he has a repertoire of of lovely type. Little, little voicings that are simple to play and he always knows how to put them in the right place that's the trick putting them in the right place um okay that's it for today uh like subscribe important to us you know like are we doing anything that's of any value here and uh also comment you know would be would be groovy as well uh, let's just let us know what you what you want you know i mean if you if you want me to go in a totally different direction like you know, wear a different outfit or something. Just let me know. Okay, and that's all for today. And we're going to see you again real soon. The next video, I'm going to connect the one chord and the five chord. Five one progressions across the fretboard. Okay, good. Thanks. See you soon.